There is a focused attempt by some artists to use the golden ratio, yet very few artists aim to use the Fibonacci numbers in their work. This is something I wanted to explore further because if the golden ratio is worth exploring, then so are the Fibonacci numbers because they are intimately related to each other. I'm going to create an image using those Fibonacci numbers and here is the first number in the sequence, number one. Using numbers in artwork is something that has been tackled by some other artists. The artist Jasper Johns is a good example. He is probably most famous for a painting of the American flag, but he also created an image called Zero Through Nine, which is an abstract image of numbers on top of each other. I was thinking about that image and I questioned if I could do something similar using the Fibonacci numbers. The process of creating such a piece is fairly simple. I began with the number one and then I placed another number one on top. This process seems quite dull and when you begin you imagine that it will lead to a piece of artwork that is simplistic and boring, but the complete opposite occurs. Here is a number two. This is the next number in the sequence. At this stage it becomes difficult to see the numbers. If you didn't know that the image was three numbers, you might struggle to see them clearly. I've added the number five, which is the next number in the sequence. The overlapping of each number has led to the creation of abstract shapes that were an unintended consequence of layering these numbers. The image becomes more abstract with every number. I don't really want to make this image too complex by adding further numbers. I could use colour to try and bring some clarity to those numbers, but at this stage the original numbers seem lost. This is something that also happens in the image by Jasper Johns. When you overlay shapes on top of each other, it tends to create an abstract composition. Obviously, you need to allow all the shapes to be seen in their entirety for the effect to happen. It's the small shapes that become interesting in an image like this. I began to add shading and then colour. The image ceased to be about the numbers and instead it became an exploration of shapes. It becomes an abstract piece of artwork. When I was younger I saw Zero Through Nine by Jasper Johns and at first I wasn't impressed. It seemed as though the image had no creativity because it was created just using numbers and part of it seemed empty to me. It seemed too easy to create and too simplistic. Now I see the work differently. To create a great piece of abstract art, you must understand what the foundations are. What makes a painting abstract? In looking at numbers, Jasper Johns found a simplistic way of creating complex abstract images. In doing so, he was revealing part of the abstract process, the use of overlaying shapes to create new ones. He was showing how an abstract piece is created with the layers, and the artist chooses what to hide and what to define. This kind of artwork isn't about the final result. This kind of artwork teaches you about abstract art and it explains aspects of the process. This could be seen as a way of using the Fibonacci numbers to structure a piece of artwork. Although we haven't actually used the numbers, we've used symbols that represent the numbers. This is the number two, but it would probably be more accurate to say 
that this is the symbol that we use to represent the number two. There is nothing about this shape that tells us anything about the properties of the number two. It isn't divided into two parts. We know it represents the number two because it is part of our language, but the symbol and what it represents are divided because any symbol could represent the number two. This just happens to be the symbol that we've used. There is a difference between two and two.